Mr. Investalot, welcome back to the channel, my cowboys and cowgirls. Today, we're going to be discussing a little deeper into Nano Dimensions, baby. We're going to be talking about Nano Dimensions merger and acquisitions, and I think they may be going for a particular type of company that is going to make the process of 3D printing smoother than baby oil. We will also be talking about the American acquisition and some speculation surrounding this. We will also be talking about marketing and price surges. This beautiful shareholder letter from Yoav Stern himself, baby. And also Carl Square. Who are these people and why are they important? There may also be a little clue in their speciality. Last but not least, we're going to be discussing ARK Invest and using Lucid Tracking and showing you exactly what they've been doing. They've been selling little bits here and there. But it's absolutely nothing to worry about because they were adding in the other portfolio if you're new around here my name is miguel we talk about stocks on this channel big juicy growth stocks i'm a retail investor here in london and i want to bring you the best and most valuable content you've ever seen baby or if you're able to join channel memberships up here you can hit any tier i appreciate all of you guys but if you're unable to join just you hitting the like button and clicking subscribe is enough for me i love and appreciate you thank you so much before we begin i'd love to say thank you to all of my boss level investors jay joseph tmg blue sky on mars and a big thank you to fred thank you for joining the cowboy level i will be buying you lunch when i see you my brother every single one of you that watch me on this channel you are all legends just like zelda so first things first we had a bit of a mazzolini today the market has been all over the place we hit some all-time highs and then we crashed into the valley of despair and i hope some of you were enjoying the juicy discount we saw today i know some of you have been in since two dollars and i salute you my nano dimensioners you know what's crazy about their strategy they decided to pour in money into research and development this year they didn't actually put much money into marketing but what they did do was appear for free on the Bloomberg International Red Chip Money Report. And this means free marketing, baby. As you guys know, Bloomberg is huge. So this marketing is on fire. Let me show you how many people tune into the Bloomberg International show worldwide. Oh my God, it's over 310 million homes. So out of those 300 million people who tune in worldwide, how many of them are retail investors? How many are institutional investors? And how many are potential clients who are gonna buy the Dragonfly? We are going to the moon. And this is not financial advice, but I expect loads of sales to be coming through for space stations, spaceships, any space exploration companies. As you can see here, Morgan Stanley has suggested that the space exploration field is the next trillion dollar industry. Space exploration is a game of zero seconds. You cannot leave electrical components broken for long. So when high performance electrical devices need replacing, mm -hmm, we got you, baby. So SpaceX, NASA, and Virgin Galactic, holler at your boy, Yoav. So speaking of catalysts, here's another one. ARK Invest has filed with the United States Security and Exchange on January. January 14th to launch a space-focused ETF, right? So how long is that going to take? Well, according to Bloomberg, ETF approval times are flexible. So what happens is ETF sponsors seeking to launch new products will likely have a shorter wait for SEC approval under the new proposal. Today, approvals take a median of 221 days. The average cost is around $100,000 and the approval process should decrease. So what does this mean? Baby, it could be any time this year, as soon as ARCX opens, what's going to happen, baby? I think we're going to be chucked in there because we're very useful for space exploration. We have the technology to be cost efficient, to be time saving, and to be able to print those high performance electrical devices in case anything breaks up there. Oh baby, the next catalyst we're talking about is the AME Academy. This is just around the corner as well. So you guys should sign up for it because it's free baby. These guys sent me an email. They said, plan your day ahead of time. And they sent me the timetable as well. So make sure you sign up. I'll leave the description in the box below. So talking about the timetable, you can see here, Nano Dimension is gonna be opening up and they've got all of these different experts You've got some from Nano Dimensions, some from ID Tech X, some from C Binet, and they're all going to be talking about 3D printing and additive manufacturing. So the timetable here starts at 10 a.m. Israeli time, I believe. They will also be opening up for a question and answers panel. This is at 1 p.m. Then we're going to have so many people with PhDs, high level people talking about additive manufacturing and how it's revolutionizing industries. We can also see here they were mentioning a lot of these names here showing one by one. And I think all of them are going to be talking about 3D printing and some talking about how it's going to affect different industries. So here we have 5G, also wireless devices, AME antennas. So I think this is a day we don't want to miss. I think there's going to be some vital and juicy information in this virtual event. So make sure you're there. I will see you there, my babies. The next thing I want you nano dimensioners to do is actually go into this Reddit group. Join the RNNDM. I really appreciate these guys and some of them just have juicy gems. So in this group, there's information that you may not see anywhere else. And I think this could be a potential clue. So this is just speculative, but I'm going to read it out to you. This guy said, upvote, baby. My high school friend actually works for TTM 
which is one of the few companies currently using NNDM. So his brethren said, so heads up, I just met an executive from Nano. When the stock pops, they got a $1 billion investment. They are looking to acquire ChemCubes and other companies to accelerate research and development. So they're looking to grow big, big. Yeah, the only things they lack are good pricing on consumables, machine consistency, and the use of different types of inks other than silver. So they're working mad hard to fix those things as that is what's going to stop them from making their next move. Hence the heavy investment in research and development and business acquisition. They're looking better and better as time goes on. Really consistent mechanical support from them. But again, aye, their machines just need to be working more consistently. So this may not be anything. This could be just somebody sending some nudes in Snapchat. It could be absolute rubbish in here or it could actually hold. So take it with a pinch of salt when you see things on the internet, but it could be a very nice clue. So that being said, does anybody else know any information about Nano Dimensions? Here they're saying, you know, we just have to make sure our machines are on point, but the actual tech is great and we're actually exploring different materials. Now let's take a look at the company they supposedly may acquire. Holy jamole, it looks like a special type of club, man. It looks like a gentleman's club, baby. Let's get in there like swimwear. <sighs> So ChemCubed is a US-based research development and manufacturing company of nanocomposite material for the additive manufacturing aka 3D printing industry. ChemCubed focuses on end-use applications for physical, mechanical, conductive and insulative properties for the final output requirements of UV curable and non-UV curable nanocomposite liquids suitable for SLA, stereolithography, syringe extrusion and piezo inkjet jettable technology printers. So guys, make sure you come to the website and read through the rest of this. But what I can see is they're exploring other materials like that Snapchat just said. The guy said they were exploring other types of inks that they could potentially use. So this could be a very good acquisition because it will help them with research and development. It will give them insight into the company's research that they've already done for years and years and give them access to patented products. So one thing to focus on, is this company synergistic with Nano Dimension and why? So guys, you have said that he wants to acquire a company that has access to all the other markets that Nano dimensions needs access to so they can acquire customers just by acquiring this company but also he said he wants a company that can be focused on optical and sensors the second kind of companies are companies that are much much smaller but are developing very advanced technology in 3d printing and uh, additive manufacturing engineering for electronics and those companies have technologies that we identified that can be integrated into our future machines so instead of developing it ourselves we potentially will buy one or two of them and the third kind of companies we look at companies that are supplying equipment for electronics to the same customers we supply what we supply but that equipment is a bit different it's a uh, testing equipment very sophisticated uh, optical equipment to uh, control the processes so it is equipment suppliers of advanced technology but not the same like our machine however to exactly the same customers and production processes so what's interesting to look at as well is traditional pcbs and geographically who makes them so you can see here china japan south korea and taiwan they make up the biggest chunks here with china making up the biggest so nano dimensions really wants to empower the west and bring back manufacturing to the west and with this chem cubed company i just want to see how much revenue they make on the internet let's see if we can find out i don't know how up to date this is but if we look on zoom info it says they have eight employees and a revenue of only one million dollars but remember they may have that game changing tech if they're able to give us you know those patents on the material composites the different kind of materials that they're able to print with so we're talking about their nano cubes nano composite materials for 3d printing and it says here that chem cubes offers an array of materials designed for physical and mechanical properties beyond prototyping and design very very interesting i suggest you come here and explore your yourself let's move on to the next catalyst so i don't know how many of you managed to explore um who carl square is but i was taking a look at their specialities in mergers and acquisitions so these guys have actually had more than 450 sell side and buy side transactions in the last 20 years and it says just below me here we advise medium-sized companies with our sector experience in the areas of software internet and consumer goods life sciences business services and industrials so what i was seeing as the keywords here was software and industrials are we going to be able to get a a smoother than baby oil software company. Remember this beautiful man over here that they added to the board, Dr. Eli David? Is this man going to be able to create an evolutionary algorithm for nano dimension to actually optimize the 3D printing machines? Is this going to help us with mass manufacturing, baby? I don't know if you saw Ark Invest Big Ideas 2021, but they were talking about deep learning and how important of a role it's going to play in the future. So will Carl Square be able to help us acquire a software company in Europe to optimize our machines? In the first quarter of 2020, they actually broke could more deals and transactions than Goldman Sachs, Rothschild and JP Morgan as you can see here from this table. They got nine and the rest got below. 
So any sniff of the European or the American acquisition is going to send us skyrocketing if we acquire the right company. So I want to show you datamintelligence.com and they have said by geographical analysis, when you're looking at 3D printing electronics, they were saying major corporations in the US are adopting 3D printing for quick design testing and manufacturing advantage, but Europe was the second largest segment by revenue. So 100%, I think Nano Dimensions is not only going to focus on research and development, but they're going to look for someone with strategic key business relationships, someone with a lot of customers they can just acquire and just infiltrate and push their machine to. So the reason why these acquisitions are taking so long and with no hints is because competitors will pounce and bid and they will drive up the cost of acquisition. So if me and you both got money and there's that last piece of blueberry pie, we're going to be throwing money and we're going to be throwing hands, baby, because everybody wants that last slice. Draw! What do we do? We 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 we. Another thing to notice is I'm on Fintel as you can see right here for Nano Dimensions, and I just saw um, BlackRock actually add a position. I don't know how recent this was because you know everything's sort of delayed, but um, here it says that the date of filing was reported on the 5th of February 2021. It was probably a while ago, but I'm just not sure. If you guys can hit me up in the comments and see if you know exactly when they added 336,000 shares, I would love that, baby. Another massive catalyst that could cause people to buy a lot of these machines let me tell you now car makers have been hit hard by a global chip shortage so we're talking about semiconductors demand for these chips or semiconductors has soared during the coronavirus pandemic as people snapped up games consoles laptops and tvs to help them get through lockdowns now many of these products including certain chromebook laptops and next generation consoles like the xbox x series and playstation 5 are sold out and subject to lengthy shipping times so car makers use semiconductors in everything from power steering and brake sensors to entertainment systems and parking cameras. The smarter the cars get, the more chips they use. Now remember, if there's a shortage in chips and you cannot get your semiconductors from Asia because of shipping, because of all coronavirus, nobody's there in the factory, no one's in the office, and all of this stuff is backlogged, you cannot sell your products. You should be able to sell. There's demand there. You should be able to sell it. So what can you do? You can get one of these Dragonfly machines, put it up in the office, and start manufacturing it yourself. Or alternatively, you can get your Nano S service, give them the digital file, get them to print the product that you need, and send it in, and then be able to integrate it into your product. So semiconductors are used in so many different industries, including healthcare, work at home, virtual learning, cars. So not only is the RF semiconductor market growing, but all types of semiconductor market. And semiconductor markets are expected and estimated to grow to $726 billion by 2027, compounded annual growth rate of 4.7% during the period. And what do we do, baby? We do additive manufacturing for semiconductor devices. So I'm going to run you through the letter, which was the next catalyst. I saw the stock boom a little bit today. We hit some new all-time highs i think it was so instead of reading the letter of love here thank you very much king richard this is the king of nano dimensions and he will forever be the king what i found on the internet was actually a visual display of the letter and i really like the way this was uh, put together so i'm going to show you who's made it and we're going to take a quick look through the letter this way so there's a group on reddit called swan fin they're really really good in uh, deep diving into stocks so they deep dive into nano dimensions letter and put it into a visual display for you so let's take a looky looky here baby swan fin you have's letter so we've got you have stern he sent a CEO to the shareholders. He reminded them of how it looked so negative, right? There was a negative outlook on our sales and what's going to happen and our revenue expectations. So what this man was talking about, he's talking about nano dimension customers. He was talking about visitation limitations and his priorities. And he said, as I've commented in our quarterly results conference calls since May 2020, COVID has been the elephant in the room and it's affected the sales. So in fact, he stated publicly that he believes the revenue will be close to zero. So therefore we beat the revenue estimates and he's very pleased. So all of the potential customers were limited to COVID-19. They were limited by travel and capital expense restrictions. So he expected zero revenue for 2020 and the engineers have faced limitations on their ability to conduct sales, offer support and complete installations. And I agree with him here. Acquiring breakthrough technologies has not been a priority for buyers who are struggling with this tsunami-like event in COVID-19. They're just trying to keep their head afloat of water. They were trying to make sure they don't go bankrupt. They were definitely trying to just cut expenses and trying to cost save as much as possible. Some people even let go of physical premises like offices that they were renting. So Yoav said that he was positively surprised his revenue was much higher than before. They were expecting zero dollars. They actually managed to accumulate 3.4 million dollars in revenue and their current cash reserves are still near a billion. So that means that they haven't yet acquired somebody but when they do you'll see that cash reserve move. Oh you don't say. So he stated that he thinks that the five trends responsible for the revenue was upgrades from older system, customer satisfaction. So 70% of the customers actually upgraded their system to the Dragonfly Pro. They also boosted their reoccurring revenue model. They got loads 
terms of sales from inks as we know the inks are the ones that make the big money trend number three they had strong sales from their new nano s service so that's the digital file then they do the rest of the work for you trend four they had customers with annual service and support agreements and trend number five customers who recovered from covid early and started to buy these machines up so dragonfly actually sold to the academy of engineering physics so he is stating that as countries continue to open up their sales have built up over the past year and they're expecting to all come in at once a bit like a slingshot so preparation has already taken place and they're getting ready to dish out these machines baby so he wanted to finish just by showing you some quick milestones they raised a billion dollars in capital say thank you to us baby because that's our money we've been buying up them shares baby so they've raised a billion dollars in capital we've been heavily diluted but we know you're going for the big growth baby so we put our trust in you so make sure you get us somebody juicy when you require they've rapidly accelerated all timelines and strategies they've hired needham and company for the acquisitions and mergers in usa hired carl square for mergers in europe and they researched over 80 companies and i think i remember from his interview he said of which he interviewed loads of candidates i think he was talking to 35 different companies and interviewing people all the time so what he did was identify the best candidates that will complement nano dimensions and be synergistic and then he engaged with some of these companies to actually offer you know a purchase or merger discussions and then they established offices uh, in florida for marketing sales and customer service he summed up by saying expectations were not great but the results were amazing expect multiple acquisitions and mergers soon they cannot discuss specifics because of the late stage in process they don't want other competitors to come in and drive up the prices or snatch something that they potentially want to buy and this guy has said that nano dimension is already the leader in this industry but they want it all so he was talking about a monopoly making sure that you get in there you do a facebook on the industry you do an amazon on the industry and whoever's coming in you snatch them up and you drown them baby if you manage to watch this far into the video you are a true nano dimensioner and i love and appreciate you thank you very much for staying and i hope you found this video super valuable and entertaining if you're able to join and support my videos click the join button up here you can choose any tier the lowest one is 99 cents and it really helps me to research and give you the best content and all of my efforts baby i want to do this full time i want to give you all the value and entertainment but if you're unable to click join just you hitting the like and clicking subscribe drop me a comment below as well i'd love to hear from you it means the world to me i literally read every single one of your comments and i love to reply to them so i'm going to go through i'm going to reply to all of these comments just know that i love and appreciate you and thank you so much for always supporting me mr investor over and out baby we love you yo av Shh.